youngest son, Thatcher, who is five years old today, I had a guilty pleasure. Binge watching Love It or List It. <laughs> Interior designer Hilary Farr and real estate agent David, David Visentine battle it out for the affection of fed up homeowners. They renovate their homes and then they decide whether they're going to keep it, love it, or sell it, list it. And their relationship is hilarious. Watch. So this is just lovely houses, well kept lawns. Look at this. Is that for sale? Why are you looking at a house for sale? Because I'm a real estate agent. Oh. That's what real estate agents do. You've never found me a great fixer-upper for me to then fix up, for you to then sell and then move on to the next one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't. Please help me welcome the co-host of HGTV's Love It or List It, Hillary Farr yeah. and David Byzantine. Yeah. Welcome to you both. Thank you very much. Great to be here. So can I tell you, I, I don't really know about renovating houses, but the thing I loved about the show is not only your humor in you know pursuing your various tasks, but there's something very comforting about the way it's shot and the people you pick and just sort of the light, friendly or unfriendly banter between the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> How often does it get friendly? I'm trying to think. Uh, it's friendly quite a lot, but then there's the other bits too. So yes. it, I want to ask you about how you met. Was it during the audition process? Absolutely, yes. Um, I had been cast and then they put me with various different possible co-hosts, some of whom were very tall and very good looking and very gorgeous. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and then they said, it's David. <laughs> wow. Uh, I said, I don't know disappointed because I couldn't remember who David was. So. <laughs> that By the way, later. we're looking for a new designer, so if anybody's interested, <laughs> we don't do background checks. So you're all good. <laughs> you, do you, because you seem to have little, you know, little spats with one another. Is there a pet peeve that you have of Hillary? Where do I begin? <laughs> Let me think now. You only get one. I pet only get peeve. one? One. Megan, you know when you go home, and you pull into your driveway, and you pull into that thing that has four walls, right, yes. to park your car. Yeah. What do you call that? The garage? Yes, what do you call it? Garage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been correcting her on this for ten years, and she refuses to say it properly. Actually, you think you say it properly, and everybody else says uh, yeah, wrong. That, yep. The garage. Pet peeve. There's a lot of time spent on the first syllable. The, ga the garage. It's garage. Right. Uh, <laughs> How about you? Do you have one of David? Oh, <clears throat> well, again, one. Okay, I'll pick one. So, um, yes, he always has to have the last word. Every single time we do a scene, the scene is done, it's okay, we're ready to move on. Last word. That is not true. It's absolutely true. It's <laughs> not true. Not true. Well, that's what I have to defend myself on. I can't help it. No, but I'm not going to let you have the last word. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Look, at they could keep this going all day. All right, now, I have to ask you, is it true that you got into designing thanks to your mom and you got into selling homes thanks to your dad? Yes. Yeah. All right, so, so what happened? Because you were supposed to be a ballerina. Uh, yeah, but look at me, I'm huge. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this terrible growth spurt at about the age of 12, and that was the end. So um, I didn't realize that I was going to end up designing, but my mother was unbelievably creative and into everything. Thing to do with design. So I would come home from school and she'd say, oh, I've been waiting for you. Great. We're going to move everything around in the living room. And that's what we would do. Mm -hmm. And that, and she took me shopping to buy wallpapers and fabrics and just I, by osmosis somehow. It turned out that you could make a living out of that. Uh, well, yeah. And you wanted to be an actor? Yeah, I was coming uh, out of doing theater in high school and I was planning to work for a couple of years at any job and then just go back to theater school. And uh, my dad has been in real estate practically his whole life and practically my whole life. Uh, and at the time, he's like, David, just get your real estate license, make some money, and then if you want to go back to school, go back to school. Well, what happened is I started making money, and I went, oh, no, I'm not going back to school. I don't want to go back to school at all, no. <laughs> and all do right. what? Do theater and make no money. So part of the beauty of watching them is you actually learn. You learn a thing or two about how to spruce up your house and what you should do when you list it to get the best price. I learned a lot from the both of you because, of course, it was a three-month maternity leave. Um, after the break, they're going to teach all of us uh, about the hottest summer decor trends to spruce up your home. Don't go away. And we're back now with the co-hosts of HGTV's hit show, Love It or List It, Hillary Farr and David Visentine. And they're going to break down this summer's biggest decor trends. Now, Hillary, 
Indigo Blues, what do we need to know? You know, it's, it's, it's timeless, and as a result, it's an ongoing trend. It never gets old. So here you see a mix-up of blues, including Indigo Blue, and it is just so rich, and it reminds you of the ocean and water and all those things mm. that you love during the summer. It's comforting. It works with every finish. We've got some gold metal here. We've got ceramics. Everything works with this color. Whether you like it or not, just put it up there if you're staging your house for sale. Like, you have to get something coordinated that looks good. Absolutely. And hire somebody to do it. Yeah, okay. Don't try and do it yourself. I, I wouldn't do it. Hire somebody. I'm okay. not saying Hillary. I'm just... <laughs> Tell me not Hillary. Okay, next up we have Indoor Rattan. I guess yes. we're going to stage number two. Well, again, because we're thinking about the summer and we're also thinking about budgets. And the lovely things about Rattan is that, again, it's timeless. It's never gone out but of But isn't it kind print. of uncomfortable? Well, the cushions are cute. Probably looks... Yeah. You've got it. This one, I mean, go with a, with a seat cushion. Otherwise, you have a little pattern on it. But look at this thing. Who wants to sit on this? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Here's the key. Ah. Oh, there you go. Ah. See, if you could just be with me always, it. Hillary. <laughs> that's not fair to wear, obviously, then it gets not so on. Right, exactly. Don't wear shorts, because you know when you no, stand no, up. No, 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 no. Well, you get, it gives you a nice little sort of like, you don't need a tattoo. you just got that thing happening. <laughs> texture. It's all about texture. All right. Now, the ice cream cone palette, is that what we're looking at no, next? No, not ice cream that? cone. I mean, it's just keeping with this summer idea of colors that you would not necessarily want to introduce into Those your home. Those are beautiful. Home all year. So think of gelati, think of pistachio ice cream. It's just lovely colors that are soft. It works as a centerpiece. You can put a single flower in them. It gives interest to a summer table because it's pared down. You don't want to do anything that's too... That is very simple. I mean, like, you need something like this when you're selling like little fresh flowers or what, big cookies? Yes, and fresh flowers. Don't use fake flowers. Uh, I think no matter how good they look, you just shouldn't. Use and it's bad juju. Can't have bad juju. <laughs> yeah. no bad juju. Like feng shui, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that. No. All right. We'll last is what's ombre? I know ombre is like the hairstylist where you have the roots going down to the right. <clears throat> well, the same thing. We you know you've done this. Oh. Look at the curtains. How it starts with oh. a nice white and then it goes down into a shadowy thing. It brings interest to something nice. that is usually boring. The bed. Ooh, Apart like this. from um, you know having that texture, again, if you, for instance, if you do happen to like these dusty colors, you don't have to go with one. It's great to not have to fully commit to anything in life, isn't it? <laughs> if you can manage it, <laughs> go for it. And don't use a fake bed. Now, if David were the other guy she wanted cast in the role, Hillary would be getting on here too. too. But you two are marvelous. Love you so much. You. Don't forget to watch Love Your List. You will love it. HGTV Mondays at night. today fans thanks for checking out our youtube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives